Good morning, guys. Before I do anything, I do this every single morning. Every single time I do this, Keo looks at me because he thinks it's like danger. I love doing this every morning. It just like cleanses the air. Yeah, this is my little stand. You would find the best shit, I swear. I know. I love this. Whenever she lights, I'm like... It's like, it's just like refreshing. It's just like... I, I'm less like, stressed throughout the day. Yeah. You know? I like these, like... I don't know if it's good or not, but I like them, like... Three times a day. Ooh. You wanna wake up this early and be playing like this already? Guys, this is what he does to the floor with all of his toys. Down. Play dead. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> he said it. I ordered Starbucks. <laughs> Thank God. I didn't um, order food though. I need it. Because we need to start eating better. Guys, we've been. No! Yeah, we've not been eating good at all. McDonald's, Chinese food. No. Chipotle. We ain't had Chinese food since I threw it all up. Yeah, no. Right? Yeah. <laughs> no, don't be coming at me like that. No, no, I'm not eating. I don't. You think this is bad? Okay, guys, when Ryan eats, it just goes straight to his muscles. I've never met or seen anybody that <laughs> <laughs> that can take and eat food the way that he does. Like me, I'm I'm struggling right now. So I'm back to cooking. I'm telling myself Thank that. Thank God, Mama cooking again in the kitchen. But welcome back to our channel, guys. If you guys are new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell button, so you get our notifications whenever we post. <laughs> Cause y'all want to see us. We know you do. <laughs> you want to see us more. So make sure you hit that subscribe. You better want to see us. <laughs> so we're about to clean everything up. Um, because look, he smells in here. Yeah. That's why I love this too. The dishes that you don't ever do after you, you know, you're supposed to clean that shit up. After okay, right, because I cook breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and then like you just want me to do the dishes too. Yeah. And then oh, I took the trash this morning too. So <laughs> while you're taking shit for 35 minutes. <laughs> All right. Why are you coming at me so hard because like right now? You, guys, Yo, does she, he not ever come will, at me so she hard? Go, she won't go choosing to kill me. <laughs> we are gonna clean first. Oh my god, it's already 8 o'clock. It's already 8 a.m. We've already been up for two hours. What have we been doing? Say hello, say good morning. Oh, but he's going to smile. We're going to clean. We're going to get ready. And then we're going to start doing shit. <laughs> Let's go. Every time, like, Ryan's been, like, going with this look recently, and every time I look at him, he looks like football. <laughs> what? What? <laughs> no, he's been wearing like. Why don't you speak? <laughs> but the, you, 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 no, what are you saying? You've been wearing like. I mean, you've been wearing these, but like, I, I don't know if it's the earrings. You bought me them? <laughs> <laughs> but he's wearing like beanies now. Are you coming on my look? I should like pop up the picture that you took that you look like a fuckboy and you're like. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I mean, you look good. <laughs> Hey guys! <laughs> How y'all doing out there? We're about to hey. get a room. <laughs>
so funny. <laughs> It feels so much better just like getting up and cleaning. It actually makes you feel like so good now because we move around so much in here. And it gets messy so fast. Yeah, but that was just our room. Yeah. Everything else is, <laughs> yeah. is still a mess. But it's a mess with like furniture pieces and all that stuff because we still like yeah. putting stuff in. Yeah. But it's coming together. I'm so happy about it. Like our room i'm really happy because there was one thing there was one idea that i had and ryan for the longest time was like no i don't think it's gonna look good but we ended up doing it and it's actually so good should i show them yeah you can. okay and it's so aesthetic and just like cute yeah, i we had the, the vision paint the legs there's still something we have to do with it yeah, but those. yeah but i had the vision and ryan actually got this and this so, oh, I love that you used Amazon. I didn't even notice that. I liked how he kind of helped like bring it together. He got this like Polaroid book so we can put like all of our Polaroids in it. The fully furnished. You guys are going to see everything probably the first week of April. Yeah. Just so that we can make sure we have everything we want in. But this place is looking I love it. so It's so beautiful. cozy but like aesthetic at the same it's time. So, it's so, it's so us. Yeah. It's so us. I love it. Ah. Right now. We just left to go to personal training. We're actually training at this new spot like a few times a week. I've trained there one time before and Ryan hasn't been there yet. So we're gonna go and get in a good workout because last time I worked out here, it was hard. I was sore for like four days. So we're eating rice cakes right now. We haven't eaten since breakfast and it's 1.30 right now, so. Definitely not a good idea to me. Yeah. But the thing with this gym is there's a personal trainer, like personal training you. Mm -hmm. And straight up with y'all, I ain't never had that in my life. I've had coaches like when I played football and shit like that, but I ain't never had no personal trainer for working out ever. Yeah. So we're gonna see. I hope. I might have to put them to work. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Yeah. That's how we do it in the KU family. <laughs> Today, I think we're doing like a full body. I think it'll be a good workout, but I'm really curious because Ryan always says, oh, I only like working out by myself because I work myself the hardest, so. We're gonna see. We're gonna see. Next clip is me fucking wheezing. <laughs> uh -uh, uh -uh. Are you ready? Your taste is melting on my tongue. <laughs> Have you guys seen that TikTok? <laughs> Me and Ryan die over it. Literally, <laughs> he says it to everything. <laughs> yeah. Especially the way you looking right now. Yeah, you look like you on a mission. Yeah, we're about to go in there. I'm ready because I need my ass beat. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, I could do that for you. Ryan. Hey, I could do that for you. I'm, I'm just ready to get in a good sweat. Yeah. So. About to kill it. All right, so we're in here and we literally just only did abs and we're dead. How, how did you feel about it? He was shook. He was shook. I was shaking. <laughs> Ready? 
<laughs> Go! <laughs> Look at her go! <laughs> okay, you're holding the plank. I think I should just be your narrator. <laughs> Ready? Go! Remember, you're gonna hold it right where we were shaking last time. Yup. How do you feel? Dead. <laughs> Dead. About halfway done. Let's see if he can make it. <laughs> what do you think? What does is, what is the crowd think? Do we think he can do it? You see the booty start shaking, that means it's working. Oh, it's working, it's working. All right, relax, he made it everybody, woo! Guys, great job, let's go. Y'all, we just got out, she absolutely killed us. She that killed. was so good. That was tough, that was some hard shit. Go, go, go. We're getting some protein because she was like, she was yelling at us. Are we gonna cut? Yeah, she was yelling at us for not eating. We're gonna get some protein shake. All right, y'all, so the girl that was training us, her name is Lindsay, and she just put us on these drinks from Juice Crafters. Mm -hmm. Got to see. It's very clean. You can tell it's clean. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like I'm tasting the waters of Fiji right now. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't taste like water. I don't know. It's kind of plain. <laughs> Like, this is good though. <laughs> it's good. We just got Amazon Fresh. Guys, this is our new spot. And I have been hooked on sushi recently. You know, your boy had to get some fried chicken though. Because <laughs> I need my protein. Literally, just walk up, get one of these trays, make your shit right there. The whole plate. Like you in a cafeteria back in high school. You know what I'm saying? That's so nice. I'm getting out. Why? Ryan, you're doing it on purpose. <laughs> I'm gonna walk home. I just knew. I just knew it. I just got off of a meeting. And if you guys haven't seen our last video, go check that out. I basically updated my one year post off for my breast augmentation. I basically explained in that video that around my five, six month mark, I started feeling like not myself. I'm gonna get into everything that I do feel. I also said that I was gonna be talking to a doctor who specializes in implants, explants, and breast implant illness. So I did exactly that i went through multiple doctors and i searched through multiple support groups and everything and just seen what doctor was really recommended i found one i found a really good team the doctor that i found he works alongside this wonderful woman she is absolutely amazing and i talked to her about everything and she actually was a woman who had implants and got them removed and she had breast implant illness so before i get into what we talked about and what i told her and what she said i do want to kind of briefly go over all of the symptoms that i've been having if you have implants or you're looking to get implants i want to tell you guys my story and what i've been going through It's just been... I just haven't... It's just so emotional and you guys will understand. Why? Because... I feel so like... I feel so awoke right now. And I feel like my questions have been answered. <laughs> When you don't feel healthy and you don't feel like your best self, nothing else matters. You know, I think about this shit every single day and I think about what's wrong with me. So I want to tell you guys the symptoms I've been feeling and progressively over time, some have gotten worse, some have just like stayed the same. Light sensitivity, noise sensitivity, 
some food sensitivity, worsen anxiety, episodes of depression, changes of the skin, whether it's like hyperpigmentation, rashes, veininess from inflammation, eczema, headaches, so, so much fatigue. There's just so much. There's so much that I've been experiencing for about six months now that I know that just are not normal. I also want to say too that I know I mentioned some of this stuff in my last video. I actually have like pain like and no it's not constant but it's it is constant just feeling uncomfortable and feeling like these aren't my own. But when you actually do your research on these implants and what they're actually made of that you're putting something so foreign in your body literally laying on top of your chest cavity seeing that these implants are made up of all these heavy metals and these chemicals it's honestly crazy and obviously when you're going to get implants you don't look at all this stuff because you're like i just want boobs you know what what, what is the reason for all of these women to get implants listen i don't want any of this to make it sound like i'm trying to persuade somebody to do or to don't share what i'm going through because Nothing that I'm going through is worth it. There's some days where I feel like I'm like dying. Like I just don't feel like myself. So I told her everything. I told her all my symptoms. She was like, your breast implant illness sounds pretty severe. That right there by itself, I just knew it. Because I know that my soul, like my actual being has not been with me and i feel like it's one of those things that you just deny i did it i denied 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 and it's just like now more than ever i just want to feel myself i want to feel like the healthiest version of myself also i don't know if you guys remember this past october when i got sick and i was going to the hospital like a few days in a row now i want you guys to know that the thing that's going on in my head is completely different than everything that i'm feeling and if you guys don't know i just have a pituitary lesion in my head but that doesn't have anything to do with the implants and that's because like i did a bunch of testing and that's not causing any of the things that i'm i'm feeling and that's why at that time i started to like there was question marks just everywhere and i was like then why am i feeling this way like it just doesn't make sense so i kept talking to her and she kept telling me all of these stories of all of these girls who are coming to her literally between three and six months of getting their implants and just developing this illness it's just terrible and they're developing all of these symptoms from these implants and like i said it's because what they're made up of and how foreign they are to the body i wish that i would have just done maybe a little bit more research or just had like a little bit more self-love you know your looks does not matter if your health is not good like i <laughs> You know, I've always struggled with confidence issues or whatever. But this makes me realize that you are so much more than just what you look like. Or how big something is on your body or whatever. Because I would kill right now to just feel my soul back in my body. I'm so emotional because I just knew it and I knew that there was something wrong with me. I get so upset with myself because you know, I spent all this money on this and like it's not a cheap thing and you're going through a whole surgery now having to deal with all the health problems that I've been having and on top of knowing that I'm not my best self for myself or even for Ryan and Ryan's been with me through all this taking me to the hospital dealing with all this stuff and it kills me to not feel like the best for me or my partner so after me and this doctor talked for a little bit. She was the most amazing and kind woman I've talked to and to really talk to a woman that's personally herself been through the same thing just reassured me that my gut feeling was the right decision. So I did want to announce to you guys that I am gonna get them removed and 
I know 110% that this is the best choice. I honestly feel relieved. I cannot wait to get this out of my body. I just can't wait to wake up and feel like myself. And that's what she was telling me is that almost 100% of your symptoms go away once you get them out. Once they leave your body, the symptoms all go away. I'm just so looking forward to how I'm gonna feel when I get these out. It's crazy. But I do have a surgery date set and I'm not gonna tell you guys yet. I'm obviously nervous, but I'm excited to tell Ryan about everything. And I was gonna end this video, but I think I'm gonna leave that by itself and I'm gonna tell him because I'm just so happy. <laughs> I mean, I don't even know if excited is the word, but I'm just ready. So thank you guys for always listening to us and dealing with our emotions and our roller coasters of this life that, you know, we're just trying to live. But in the next video, I'm going to be telling Ryan I'm getting them removed.